Well, let's have a look at your videos, you little prick. Two Dory Gaming, two Dory shit. Oh! <laughs> Well hello you sexy little gremlin. So if you didn't know already I went to London two days ago and I made an appearance on the kickoff with these three beautiful blokes. But before we get into that I want to have a little quick chat about the train there. My God! So basically I get to the train station 30 minutes before my train's supposed to leave. I look up to the board to see what platform I'm on and my train's being cancelled. Couldn't have hoped for a better start. So instead of us having a pre-booked seat where I'd be sitting down, getting off at coffees, teas, Biscuits, the branded ones as well. I was actually squashed against the toilet, standing up, getting asked if I was in the queue every five minutes. From the same woman as well, how many pisses do you think I need, Barbara? I mean, she looked like a Barbara, you know, she had that whole Marilyn Monroe, uh, any, anyway. So, I've had better days so far, and just my luck when I'm standing there on the train squashed against the toilet, two random pissheads keep coming up to talk to us. So we're travelling back from Newcastle and I quote, from a two day bender with no sleep, haha. <laughs> One of them told us that he lost 800 quid, but the shag and the blowjob made up for it. And the worst thing was he was only travelling down to London so he could see his fiance so he could have some more fun time and I'm not going to repeat his exact words because you know what I quite like my channel and after all this he was going back in the army well hey at least our country's in safe hands so I had expect that tagline to come up on Jezza in the coming weeks and just finally before we get onto the kickoff can I ask about some of the stations the train drops off at like Doncaster bloody Doncaster rumour has it that they're still using the tram so no wonder no one was there actually I do tell a lie there was one kid and he actually put his hand out for the train so that doesn't tell you everything you need to know and I've just spat everywhere <laughs> but I don't know what does that's not coming out the car but that like so I get off at King's Cross and five words spring to my mind there's fucking thousands of them felt like I just landed at Tilted Towers with no protection but a tube of tinfoil I mean we'll get onto that soon so I got out my phone put the coordinates in coordinates to a map bag wheels I put the address in and it said 20 minutes so I thought hey the day's looking up that's not too far but little does man know that was in the car so one hour later I was still stranded and just by luck I swear down my phone died Honest. My phone was like, nah man, abandoned ship. So I'm stuck in this pretty dodgy area with no phone. I mean, there was people pork and toast on the floor. I mean, there wasn't, but uh, there could have been, and that's the main story of this video. So I had to buy a portable charger for two quid. Jesus Christ, you think I made a money? And then I miss a call from the main man, and next thing you know, he's standing right behind us. So that's my story. What's yours? <laughs> so, finally, the kickoff. So I thought instead of just rambling on talking about it, I'm just going to show you my favourite parts from the show. So uh, yeah, enjoy. By the way, uh, I got a present today. From Cam. Oh yeah. Cam bought us a present as he came down, and uh, he wrapped it in tin foil. It's not serious, right? It's something that you're very passionate about. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, I'm actually really happy with that. That's lovely. <laughs> something in the post for you still, like I thought. <laughs> is, it, is it Christmas? Yeah. Hi. Is it it's... a dog, Mom? Is it a dog? Oh my God. You <laughs> Ready? Go on. <laughs> Put it on, mate. No, put it on. Go on. Oh, right, okay. Suck it in. Mate, what I thought. Can actually feel the charisma. The next day, me reason to be on Yeah, yeah. So please. basically, I thought, like, run yourself a nice hot bath. Stick a Yankee can on, Lawrence, have a cup of tea in your mug. Thank you very much. Then we won't bath, bath together, you know that, right? <laughs> not do, what, do whatever yeah. you fancy. Not again, what, anyway. What I thought is. Snuggle up on the sofa together, then you can get like tips from no, like, an, an actually funny. This is what you do in your YouTuber house. No, like get tips for, from a funny football channel and I like, put them in XO. That's no. what I thought. It's no, such I mean, a good point. I mean, there are moments where I just feel so touched by the fact that you've really gone out of your way <laughs> to get such great. I mean, it smells like the show as well. Um, <laughs> Empty. <laughs> can we take his link out of the description? <laughs> Oh, Yedlin, what you're fucking doing, you daft cunt? Well, let's have a look at your videos, you little prick. Yeah, these crisps are super, super. Just normal Doritos. He's having a lot of new experience these days. I'm not used to the branded ones, man. <laughs> first Doritos. <laughs> Um, he did say he felt like he was on holiday. He yeah. said first time on a train today. The funniest bit is that Cam didn't know actually how to get here, so instead of get, jumping on the tube, he walked from Euston. Which what? Was, <laughs> he's walked from Euston. No, he didn't get a tube, uh, um, uh, he walked. How do I get back? Because I need uh, I mean, We've got to walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. Have you seen me long coat? Yeah. Skinhead, hiding that coat up, and there was like that tin foil sticking out my bag. People <laughs> probably thought I was Count Dooku. I was, like, I was like, oh shit. Look. Sorry, you have all the Doritos you want, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. You'll need to put back. them in the tin file for you to take them home. <laughs> <laughs> pack lunch. Got it's got a lovely pack hey, lunch to go home with. It is a shithole, yeah. but fine. 
Take a mansion this month. Shut you know, the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Have you know, seen the bedroom? When I was in the caravan, when I was diving, I had the same size bedroom as I've got here. Can I take a holiday home? Fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> this is basically a ski lodge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sick of You've being. I'm sick back, of losing. Man. What you do? I thought you had a game in China. I'm just sick of losing, man. <laughs> just play. It's time to Come play. Come on, bro, brain. It's just play. To play. I didn't subscribe oh, to this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm played this game in about a year, you know. So I'm oh. not making excuses. Well, I'm putting it out there. Because I might actually win this one then. Shut up, man. Oh, oh get out! Get it out! Ah! True Dory gaming, true Dory shit. Oh! <laughs> oh. I'm not getting invited shit. back on, like, no, I'm, I'm I'm starting to hit him. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh no! Oh Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> this is oh. great banter. Gale as well. <laughs> great banter. Mm. What are you doing? You're just, you're just panic. What am I doing? <laughs> oh! Wow! <gasps> what about? I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, I don't even play this game. I made the excuses before, but I've delivered. <laughs> You fucking prick. <laughs> oh, he's looking at I like him because I belt this controller over yeah. his head. So I don't think I'll be getting an invite back anytime soon. I'm telling you, when I got home, I couldn't even get asleep. All I had ringing in my ear was... What are you doing, bird brain? Hey, bird brain! I'm walking over here! Bird brain, you're like a bad guy from a 1950s high school movie. Hey, bird brain, get over here. Bring me my lunch. So thank you for that, Lawrence. Now the kickoff's over and I get a lift back to the train station from this beautiful bloke because whilst I'm waiting for my train, a homeless man comes up for us and I give him 40 pence. I've just been on a live stream. I'm living life on the edge. Now I get to the platform and my carriage's letter is M. So I walk past the first class once, you know, one day. However, little does man know that true jewelry and Lawrence, the little princesses, booked me a first class ride home. And ironically, both of them lines on the train seat were true. So if I've never been on a train before, I'm sitting sweet. I'm not getting lost if I'm in the queue every two minutes off Barbara. I own the queue, Barbara. I think I'm going with them peasants, you can piss off. Who am I trying to kid, man? I can't even afford sauce for me as a small price pasta, man. But one thing I will say, the toilets smell very nice in that area. So the woman's walking past with a trolley, so I was like, hey, love, how much is your gear? I've got bills to pay. But little do I know, everything in first class is free. Love, just leave the trolley there, I'll finish it off for you. Cameras actually just broken. Like, what the hell is that? And yet, me camera's officially broken, so uh, that's more good news. I just want to say thank you to the people that give us branded Doritos. I mean, when I got home, people weren't even asking how the day was. They were just asking if I brought any home for them. If you understood that, you're the hero this channel doesn't deserve. P.S. Jory, if you're not watching this with that top on, mate, I'll smash your face in. And yes, I did wait until I got home to say that, so uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Can you like the video and subscribe if you're new? Uh, it means more than you think, and uh, yeah, in a bit again. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken wings, I wanna make love to you.